Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and this is our second annual Not Back To School Week. If you have decided not to send your children back to school this September, congratulations and welcome to the journey. If you are a veteran like myself, or maybe this is still early days for you, you decided a while ago or it's only your the end of your first you're at the beginning of your second year of homeschooling or home educating whatever you like to call it well done you've got through another year and we're here again so let's talk about uh, our first video of this week you will get me every single day monday to friday and i'm going to talk to you about what we're doing this year and some other bits and bobs um you know just five videos all about homeschooling, all about home educating, and wherever you are in the world, these things can apply to you. So, today I want to do our summer review and talking about um, how we've got on over the summer as we're heading into autumn. So, usually we do our home educating all the way through the summer. We don't really take any time off. But we've had a really rubbish summer. We've had lots of things on um, and lots of sad news. We've had lots of pets pass away. Um, and then, of course, you know that we had our sad adoption process news as well uh, just last week. So we've kind of just done a little bit on apps here and there, which I'll talk about later on in the week. But mainly we've just chilled out. We've actually had the summer off, which we don't usually do, as I said. So um, it's been quite nice. Usually we would take a winter holiday rather than a summer holiday. Um, but this year I think we're going to work through most of the winter holiday um, instead and then um, kind of go back to normal um in 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 maybe next year we'll see see where we are so um we have continued with a little bit of things um albert is starting to show signs that he's ready to start phonics a little bit more um he's not quite really understanding blending yet but but that is something that will come with time and the more he practices the more he'll manage it so we're we're gonna start on those things with him um, he's kind of getting more interested in it and he recognizes a lot of sounds already so we're just going to kind of um i'm going to be following up i'm going to be you know encouraging that now I've, I've noticed that over the summer um charles has done really well over the summer in the bits that he has done he's been writing spontaneously oh mommy how do you spell this or how do you spell that annotating pictures asking to write lists um making things where he's had to write on them and he's been doing it spontaneously which i'm really really pleased about and i'm very keen to encourage uh, going forward as well bessie she's been trying to read things which again is amazing for her she is approaching eight in january and she isn't confidently reading yet um she can blend most words but she's not confident at all um if you asked her oh could you read the sentence she would say no i can't read um and i would argue that she can but she's finding it a struggle um we're still pondering about whether we're going to do a um a dyslexia investigation assessment thing for her um but at the moment we're just persevering with um teaching her in a way that suits someone who is dyslexic because at the end of the day um it's not going to harm sorry there's a fly um it's not going to harm her if we teach her in this way in the same way that you know non-autistic people don't get harmed if you teach, treat them like they're autistic and you make allowance you give them the same allowances as you would someone who is autistic so um it's not doing her any harm and she's actually really enjoying it um i can hear someone yelling downstairs phil is with them so i don't need to go and deal with that but um I may get disturbed so um so this yeah just a quick summer review and that i think it's great to take breaks i think it's a really good idea and sometimes they're spontaneous sometimes they're planned and um and what did you guys get up to the summer did you have breaks did you take a break did you just keep it going what you usually do um i know that we're champing the bit to get back on things and i'm really looking forward to doing some unit studies with the kids um i need to sit down with them and say to them like what do you want to learn about so i can start getting them planned um i'm excited to hear what they have to say so this is the end of day one just a very quick one as we didn't really do much over the summer and um it's been nice to just chill and process all of the things that we've had to deal with over the last few months um rather than be concentrating on other things and hey school kids get six weeks off why can't we have six weeks off 
so I will see you tomorrow when we're going to start with we're going to start with a curriculum flick through we're going to go through what I'm going to be doing with Charles and Bessie this year um, specifically English maths and science with them and then the next day we'll be talking about what I'm doing with Albert the day after that we will talk about what I'm doing with all three of them we have some, the unit studies that I will make suitable for all three of them so stay tuned come back here five o'clock tomorrow you will see another video bye